So you're planning on building a PC or you're upgrading your current system or even console and you're in the market to buy a storage device but you're not really sure what to get since there are so many options out there and each one has its own pros and cons. Well, you clicked on the right video. That's exactly what we're doing today. Western Digital has sponsored this video and sent over these products so I can go over them and guide you on what type of storage device works best for your PC or console. I think one of the most important things you could put in your system is a reliable storage device because we do need to depend on it to keep our data safe. And Western Digital has been around for a very long time and they are well known for their robust and reliable products. So I have here in front of me a bunch of different drives from Western Digital's WD Black Series. We're gonna go over the specs of these drives individually and toss them in this beautiful RTX system that I built a few weeks ago so that we can get a closer look at real world uses ranging from gaming all the way to productivity. Starting off, we have the SN750. This is an M.2 NVMe based SSD. For those of you who aren't familiar, NVMe based M.2 SSDs are much faster than SATA based M.2 SSDs, simply because the data is read straight from the PCI interface on the motherboard, offering speeds of up to 3500 megabytes per second read compared to SATA based SSDs, which are capped at only 500 megabytes per second. M.2 NVMe based SSDs are usually the preferred choice for a lot of people out there because they currently offer the fastest speeds for PCI Gen 3 and the form factor uh, makes it convenient to fit most PCs and even laptops. Uh, it's always recommended to obviously install your operating system on here along with any program that you use constantly, let's say an editing program, that way your PC boots faster and loads applications faster compared to a hard drive. Next up is the SN750 with a heatsink. It's pretty much the same M.2 SSD, but with a heatsink, which does help keep the drive cooler during heavy workloads. And it's supposed to prevent it from throttling when there is a lot of heat in your system. In my testing, I found that the heatsink does in fact help reduce temperatures by 15 degrees Celsius compared to the one without a heatsink. Uh, but it doesn't really affect performance that much. Overall, the M.2 drive without the heatsink did slightly underperform while at peak temperatures, but it's not significant enough to make a huge difference. Up next is my personal favorite, the P50 Game Drive Portable SSD. This is currently the fastest USB portable SSD on the market right now, with speeds of up to 2000 megabytes per second read. The reason why it's the fastest portable SSD in the market right now is because it's actually using the new generation of USB interface. USB 3.2 with a 20 gigabyte per second interface. So this is practically future-proofed to be compatible for any new hardware, components, or accessories for years to come. Now the P10 game drive is similar to the P50, but it offers higher capacities in the form of a high-performance hard drive. You can get up to five terabytes of storage space, which can save about 125 games, and the small portable size allows you to take the games on the go. Now if you need more storage space for your games and files, then the D10 game drive is your best option. The D10 features a 7200 RPM drive with active cooling and it even comes with two USB 3 pass-throughs. So you can plug in your USB sticks or anything you want straight to it without reaching the PC. With this amount of space, you won't need to delete any games to make room for new ones and you can even use this for mass storage. So these are the new products from the WD Black portfolio and this is how I would use them in my setup. The 750 with heatsink would be my main drive with the operating system to make sure my entire PC is running at its full potential without throttling. And then I would use the 8TB D10 game drive to install all of my games and use it for mass storage. Currently, I have around 56 gigabytes of space just from the submissions for Setup Wars. And that number is growing rapidly every day. So it's nice that I can free up space for my M.2 and just store all these files on the D10 drive. And finally, I would use the P50 game drive when I travel. Instead of using up the space on my laptop to store the files, I can leave them on the SSD and edit videos straight from it. I'm also going to download the games that I use to benchmark, that way I don't have to download them all the time I build a new PC. Now, if you're playing on a console and need extra space for your games, I would recommend the P10 drive instead. It doesn't offer up to eight terabytes like the D10 does, but it's a lot smaller and you still get up to five terabytes of space while having a portable form factor. Now comparing the speeds of all the drives, the M.2 SSD offers the fastest read and write speeds, followed closely by the P50 portable SSD. However, when it comes to real world use, surprisingly I didn't notice any difference when it came to loading games. I tested this on all the drives with a fresh install for both GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 and I found no significant differences across any of them. This goes for both launching the game and also loading saved game files. I then tested the time it would take to load up a 10 minute 4K project on my editing program, Vegas Pro 17, 
And overall, we actually saw slightly faster times on the M.2 SSD compared to the others. Obviously, the larger the files are, the more seconds you shave off every time. The only real world differences I noticed significant differences from was transfer times. So if you're someone who is constantly transferring large files, it would make sense to invest in a faster storage device like the SN750 or P50 portable SSD. All right, so to sum it all up for you guys, here's a quick recap of each drive's pros and cons. All right, so to sum it all up for you guys, the SN750 is the fastest drive from the list. It's the perfect umbrella for content creators, streamers, and gamers. Once you install your operating system on here, your entire system will run faster, especially if you're coming from a hard drive. You can also use this to upgrade your laptop storage as well. If you're always on the go, or you're someone who's constantly transferring files between two or more systems, the P50 portable SSD is the perfect solution for you. And for anyone that likes to play lots of games or simply stores lots of files, then the D10 game drive will offer the capacity to keep you satisfied. And finally, the P10 drive is kind of a mix between these two. It gives you the portability of the SSD, but with higher capacities. In the end, you can't really go wrong going with any of these products. You know, Western Digital has been in the game for the longest time and they're well known for their reliability and quality of the products. I'll drop a link to everything I talked about down below, so definitely check them out if you guys are looking to level up your system. Again, a huge thanks to Western Digital for sending these out and sponsoring the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video.